Well, Mary Beth, I have been looking forward to seeing you because I know a little bit about your work in the past, and now having seen you in GARP, which is a really wonderful performance on oh, your thanks. part and you. all of the people, really. Um, when you first heard about this film project and when you first heard that Robin Williams was going to be cast as GARP, mm -hmm. did that seem logical or were you surprised? Um, it, it, we didn't hear it that way, actually. What happened was that um, Glenn Close and I were both called in um, around past about January of 81 uh, by Marion Dougherty and George Hill and asked if we would read the script with a couple of people uh, who were being considered for GARP. We said sure, and we went to Rockefeller Center into this enormous sort of conference room. And it was <clears throat> George and Juliet Taylor and Robin and Glenn and myself. And, that, and uh, he was so wonderful in the reading that there, there was n nothing but positive reaction after that. We read through the whole script. So. Who were yeah. some other actresses considered for your role? I don't know. I haven't ever asked. Um, I guess I could ask Marion and find out, but I don't know. Do you feel that, uh, well, first of all, let me ask you, had you read the book before you read? Yeah, I had, in fact, read all of his work before, uh, before I even knew that Garp was going to be turned into a film. I read Garp. In fact, Glenn Close and I are, are best friends, and she um, called me up one day and said, there's this great book, you've got to read it, and she gave me her copy of Garp, and then I read all of his other books, except Setting Free the Bears. I haven't read that yet. When you read Garp the first time, did you see yourself in that role? I don't. No, I really read for absolute pleasure, and uh, I didn't even think about it in that way. The role, I, I, I mean, the role I empathized with most when I read the book was Jenny Fields, not Helen Rome, but uh, I ended up playing Helen and not Jenny. Why did you empathize more with that role? Um, I don't know, maybe because she started the book. She was the character that I started identifying with, first of all. Do you think the, the film is true to the book or, or do you feel that, uh, that it, it really took the, the main essence of the book? I think even specifically it's quite true to the book. Even, even certain, certain lines are the same lines that are in the book. Um, the Pinch and Grill Parser, which is the short story in Garp, is not in the film. It's changed to the magic gloves. Um, but I think essentially and even specifically the script is very, very close to the book. For you, Mary Beth, what was the key to your character as you were trying to get this woman together? Well, I guess for me, it's the fact that she's from Iowa, and I'm from Iowa as well, and that uh, I think where you're from uh, has a lot to do with how you approach life. Um, Iowa is all laid out in, you know, plots of 180 acres and 60 acres and everything. There, there are perpendicular lines and a lot of parallel lines, and it tends to be a land that at first appears flat but isn't flat, it's sort of rolling hills. And I think that's um, indelible on Helen's character and on my own. I think uh, uh, that kind of precision, uh, subtlety, uh, simpleness is, is, is f very much essentially Helen. What do you think John Irving was trying to say about feminism in this movie? Um, you know, I've, I, Irving would probably be just terrified by the things that we all say, but I think that John Irving is, a, is a, quite a feminist. I think that he, um, from reading this book and reading some of his other books, that he thinks that women would, would run the world better than men do, um, that they are essentially, that they're uh, emotions and the closeness of those, those emotions is better than, than the kind of distance that men have. However, in this book, and therefore in the film, I think that Garp is, an, is a very feminine man, feminine in that way. I think he's obviously more maternal than Helen is, and that Helen is, uh, in a classic sense or role sense, uh, the more masculine of the two. How do you think feminist leaders are going to view the story? Yeah, I don't know. How do you? I, do you think of it? I don't know. I, I think, Mary Beth, it'll have mixed reactions uh -huh. among them. I, I don't know, but it's just a gut feeling I have. Well, it's just all that absurdity. I mean, you know, all the Ellen Jamesians cutting out their tongues and Roberta Muldoon, you know, who's a transvestite. And, uh, uh, 
and, and Jenny Fields, who does all this great sort of feminist stuff, and then Helen, who I think pretty much ignores the, the, the feminism movement around her. She's, she's so encapsulized in her own life and stuff that I don't think, I don't think Helen would be caught dead marching in a feminist march, you know? Um, although she is a completely emancipated woman. Is there in real life anything uh, comparable to that movement, that Jamesian movement? You know, people like um, the Hare Krishnas and uh, anyone who's dedicated, I think, to any kind of cult is very similar. I think it's, it is somewhat more bizarre to cut out your tongue than to shave your head, but um, I mean, when you look at things like um, uh, the Reverend jo uh, Jones in Guyana and all of that, uh, uh, there is such tremendous absurdity in, of, and violence and absurdity of violence in the world that I think it's not beyond the pale. Mary Beth, it's been a pleasure meeting oh. you. Brief visit, though yes. it is, and I understand you're coming to Texas. Yes. And if you have time, stop by Dallas-Fort Worth. We'd love to see you. Okay. Thank you so much, Mary Thank Beth. you very nice much. You. Nice to meet you. Cutaways? Yes, and reverse questions. And uh, let's do it where we get the flowers out of the picture, if we may. Do, you, do I need to move or anything? No, no, no. You just Can stay right where you are. All right. Okay. Can you just move those flowers? Sure. Oh. Thank you. Okay. Are we still rolling? And we will need, yeah, we'll need sound, too. Okay, questions. Mary Beth, when you first knew that Robin Williams was going to be cast in this role, did it seem like a likely or unlikely choice to you? Is the movie true to the book, do you think? For you, what was the key to your character? In real life, do you think there are things as bizarre as some of the things we see in this movie? How do you think feminist leaders are going to react to this film? What do you think What do you think John Irving was trying to say about feminism in this story? Okay, I think that'll do it. Thank you.